Really complex what's going on across the southern portions of the country and into the Gulf and the Caribbean. Here's our upper level ridge of high pressure that's been here for weeks out in the western part of the country. We've got a weak upper level low here. That's another reason why I'm going to throw in an isolated chance for a shower this afternoon. We've got a big ridge of high pressure here. Now between the low and the high, the winds in the upper level is very strong, so it's kind of shearing Marco apart. Here is Laura. Laura feeling a little bit of some shear as well. So Laura will continue to move into the Gulf of Mexico. Very warm waters here in the Gulf and around this high. Now the thing to watch over the next couple of days is how strong this high is and how far it will push Laura off towards the west, towards Texas or Louisiana. At this point, Looks like southwest Louisiana is the best bet. We'll have kind of a leftover trough here into south central Texas. I'm not expecting much more than isolated to scattered showers and thunder showers here if that verifies. All right, here's Marco. Let's take a close look. 60 mile per hour winds. Marco is being sheared apart. Notice how most of the thunderstorms, most of the convection off to the north and east of the low level circulation. So Marco will just kind of slowly weaken, becoming a depression here very close to Houston may have a few isolated showers uh, for South Central Texas because of Marco. Don't expect much more than that. This is a more real complex situation here with Laura. There's Cuba. Not a lot of thunderstorms over Cuba right now. Most of the activity is here to the south with northeastern kind of wind shear on it. 65 mile per hour winds with Laura and going to be moving off to the north and west. Let's take a closer look at what I'm expecting with Laura. Right now a lot of interaction with the land here in Cuba, but I am expecting Laura to move out into the Gulf of Mexico and then these waters are very warm probably will become a very strong hurricane could even become a major hurricane and we're looking at the different models all the way from Texas into Louisiana right now best bet is southwest Louisiana but anywhere from the upper Texas coast over to New Orleans watch out for this storm and could become a major hurricane could be a big impact there for southwest Louisiana